A smartphone app that can let you optimize light so that it's just right for your eyes. Light Up aims to help reduce myopia among school children. To shine more light on this, we have in the studio the expert behind the app right here, Professor Manuel Spitschan from the Technical University of Munich and Assistant Professor Raymond Najjar, Deputy Research Director, Department of Ophthalmology, NUS Medicine. Welcome. Thanks for coming into the studio. Now, we can see, as you stressed earlier, just one way in which we have a sensor on glasses. We can take a look there, which then transmits information, I assume, to an app on your phone. Professor Spitschan, 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 pardon me, how exactly does this work? So one of the things that we have realized through decades of research is that light exposure is extremely important for our physiology, physiology and our behavior. Um, and one of the uh, key findings uh, that laboratory studies in particular have produced is that we want bright days and dark nights. Now, one of the ways we can achieve this is through technological innovation and intervention. What we're trying to target here really is to modify behavior. And we are optimizing, we're trying to optimize behavior in two groups of people in our project. One is the elderly, um, which are, of course, at risk to develop cognitive decline and dementia, in which light exposure and light therapy has shown uh, to produce positive effects. And on the other end of the lifespan, we're looking at school children who are at risk of developing myopia. Professor Najjar, let's bring you in on the conversation here. Why specifically is it so important to optimize light for people with myopic conditions? Definitely. Thank you for having us on the show. So, um, unfortunately, in Singapore, myopia onset is very early. In fact, uh, by primary six, uh, over 55% of kids are already myopic. Now, we want to try to delay or, or try to stop this onset of early myopia. And one of the best ways to either stop the onset or delay myopia is to get kids exposed to outdoors, take them outdoors more often. And we believe that outdoors time, um, in part, the protect, its protective effect can be due to the peculiar spectrum and intensity of daylight. And in fact, studies have shown that kids would need around two hours of outdoor time per day to actually be protected enough against myopia. And this is what we're trying to do through this application is to provide kids and provide parents with a way to optimize the way they take uh, their kids outdoors and expose them mm. to the appropriate light exposure. Professor Spitschan, the, the issue with the, the, the wearing of glasses, I mean, young children we, we know in Singapore is very prevalent. Uh, do you think, we'll talk about this light app. Like, it, it is an app. Light mm -hmm. Up is an app uh, that essentially speaks to that uh, to the, to the glasses and the sensor there that is optimizing that light. How are you going to ensure that there will be that sort of communication between the child and the app, that they're actually going to use it in the right way? So the way we, we're looking at this is we have a sensor or a light logger that tracks light exposure and does this uh, over the course of the day. So we get very accurate readings of the light that people are exposed to. And in our study, it's going to be children in one group and also the elderly in another group. And this information is then fed back to the app in the case of the school children, uh, it's the parents that actually have information or access to this information. In the case of the senior citizens, we are looking at basically empowering, empowering them to make the right decisions about their light exposure. Right. Professor Nijar, uh, clarify this for me. So essentially modifying behavior, so the information that this sensor picks up goes back to the app, which then tells you how you, sh you should behave outdoors to optimize the time you spend outdoors. Is, is that correct? Definitely. Uh, so, um, as you know, we, so we're quite busy. If we're going to try to, or at least if parents want to try to take their children outdoors for two hours a day in Singapore in a busy lifestyle, it's quite tricky. So, how so, exactly would it change, for example, when I go out, I bring a child up? How would it change so what I do? The children, the child will be wearing the sensor. The sensor will send the feedback to the application saying to the parents, your child has only spent 15 minutes today in the appropriate lighting condition. You may want to take your kid outdoors when he comes back from school or she comes back from school and therefore optimize and build this 15 minutes up to two hours. And this can be done in chunks doesn't need to be two hours or one hour 45 old and continuous, but it will help the parents break it down into periods where they take their children outdoors or they get them exposed next to a window 
to appropriate lighting conditions. So what you mentioned is, is very specific and pertinent to young children. Now, the, the other application is for older people, as you say, in cognitive decline in many cases. Uh, does the, the app adjust for we're addressing a different demographic? Now, how would it apply, for example, either we can answer this, for an older person who's using the app to maximize the time it's he or she spends outdoors? Absolutely. So uh, in developing this app, what we're doing is we're engaging with senior citizens and understanding how can we make this app work for them. Um, and of course, you know, the, the schedule of a school child or an adult, working adult, is very different to that of a senior citizen. And so what we are looking for is really personalized uh, uh, ways to modify the light exposure. So it's not only personalized, but of course, it's also optimized. So these key demographics have optimal access to the information they would need. Mm. So there is a dual sort of several purposes there in a sense. Uh, it's early days yet, but when would you expect for something like this to, to actually be available to people? So we have just launched the project uh, today. Uh, in fact, um, this is a project funded by the National Research Foundation. And we're, we're beginning, of course, the preparations to run essentially two clinical trials that will be looking at the effect of light exposure in these two demographics. Uh, of course, this requires a lot of preparation. We're looking at about a year of preparation with everything getting in place. And then we will run the trial uh, uh, starting in 2025. Um, of course, it will take some time to run the trial, uh, but we will have definitive results then at the end of 2025, 26. Uh, by, and by then, I think we'll be very confident uh, about approach. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking about, I mean, you, you're really trying to shape behavior here more than anything. Uh, to, to take the random out of uh, what is eye health, I mean, a, a subject that parents don't really talk about quite openly from a young age. I mean, is that something that needs to change? Uh, definitely. So the, help, uh, the app is a help at, at the moment. So the app doesn't need to be there after the parents adopt the proper behavior. So it's going to be there to help the parents build that behavior. And hopefully what we're aiming for is for the parents to just adopt that behavior or taking the kids outdoors enough, maybe without the sensor, maybe without the app, just adopt that behavior and, and carry on. So yes, definitely, this yeah. is our aim. And, and hope to mitigate some of th those myopia numbers that we've been seeing. Hopefully. Thank you so much for coming into the studio to share all of this with us and all the best yeah. uh, with Light Up as well. Thank you for uh, that. We've been speaking there to Professor Manuel Spitschen from the Technical University of Munich and Assistant Professor Raymond Najjar from the Department of Ophthalmology at NUS Medicine.